as an nri how do you execute a general power of attorney in favor of somebody who is physically located in india so you may want to appoint somebody as your agent to buy or sell property you may want to appoint someone as your agent to represent you in a court case or to do any act on your behalf in that case how do you execute a general power of attorney or a special power of attorney that is the subject matter of discussion for the video today hi everyone my name is raman reddy and i'm a practicing lawyer in the high court of telangana on this channel i help you by simplifying complex legal concepts for tips tricks and general legal information make sure you hit the subscribe button below so the first step in executing a general power of attorney is to first draft the gpa or the spa now what are the clauses that are to be incorporated in the general power of attorney or the special power of attorney now these clauses will depend upon the purpose for which the general power of attorney is being executed so let's take an example let's say that you let that let us say that one of your parents has passed away and you want to obtain a legal health certificate from a court or from some competent authority you cannot come down yourself therefore you want to appoint an agent on your behalf to go and do or to go and obtain that legal health certificate in that case you would say you know so the so the clauses would say you know that me i ramana reddy i am resident of say whatever california usa and i am giving this general power of attorney in favor of say ashok kumar who is resident of hyderabad and you know i want to obtain a legal certificate i am physically not available in the country therefore i am hereby appointing mr ashok kumar as my agent to go ahead and obtain for the legal health certificate now we can multiply these use cases and customize it based on what your need is so you know if you want to sell a piece of property and you're not available so i would say you know i i ramana reddy i am not available in india because i live abroad here is ashok kumar who's a friend of mine i want to appoint him as my agent to sell or buy property on my behalf so that is so those are some of the basic clauses that will that a general power of attorney will contain hey hope you're enjoying the video so far if you're an nri and if you're looking for solutions to the top 7 legal problems and are faced by nris make sure to download the free ebook that is available in the description below now back to the video again it is important to emphasize that the nature of these clauses will depend on the purpose for which the general power of attorney is being given you know after all these clauses you would sign at the end and that would be your general power of attorney you would then take that document and you would print it in high quality a4 sized paper now once you have that document in your hand what you would then do is that you would take the document to a public notary in in the country where you are located so let's say for this for an example let's say that you're living in the US so you would take that document and you would go to a notary in the US who would notarize that document and once that document is notarized you would take that document and you would courier it to your agent who is physically located in India and once the agent receives the document in India he would take that document and he would go to the district registrar who would then validate the document just to show that the document is authentic it is important to keep timelines in mind that once the document is received in india the agent here has 3 months to go and get the validation done any if 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 he delays beyond 3 months that document expires and the whole process may have may you know you may have to take it up a fresh also importantly make sure you don't lose the envelope or you should i guess you should tell your agent to track the envelope and to make sure that the envelope in which the general power or the special power of attorney is sent that he should not lose that envelope because the district registrar will ask for proof as to how the document got here 
which, which means how it got to India. So please tell your agent who is located here to ensure that the document or and the envelope both are safely protected. So just to summarize, a general power of attorney is where it, it creates a relationship of agency where the person in India becomes your agent and he's acting on your behalf. So you are the principal and the person in India is your agent because you're not physically here. You issue the GPA or the SPA in their favor so they can act on your behalf. I hope that was video was helpful. Thank you for watching.